let's get into this tutorial. I am so excited to share with you guys this video because like, first of all, this wig was pre-bleached, pre-plugged. And I'm really happy that companies nowadays, <laughs> mind my face y'all, I'm on the phone with my friend. <laughs> I'm on FaceTime with my friend and she is just a trip like but anyways um as I'm doing this bald cap I just want to say like I'm really happy that these companies nowadays are giving you guys and giving us pre-bleached and pre-plucked wigs that are actually pre-plucked and pre-bleached like this was literally a throw on wig like this install was so freaking easy and as long as y'all know how to install the wig you do not have to worry about the customization which i think is really really freaking cool but y'all see i got my bald cap on stretched out and i'm actually using a different ebon wonder lace spray today because my other can was out and this is the one for sensitive skin and tbh i know i said the black one was my favorite but this actually worked really really good and it actually had a better stick this is the gold can and it's for sensitive skin so we'll see how it does but yeah i'm drinking my little tea i don't know like it's become a ritual now for me to drink tea as i'm doing my install like that warm beverage is just super just relaxing as i'm sitting here for three hours doing my hair for y'all but yeah you guys i'm just spraying this along my bald cap and then blow drying it until it is completely dry so once that's dry i'm gonna just take my scissors and go ahead and cut off the extra cap and by the way y'all when it comes to my bald caps or just the wig caps in general i get them sent to me with the wigs and i'm pretty sure and correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure companies would send you guys you know the little gifts and the lashes and the edge brush too in y'all packages right because y'all be asking me where I get my wig caps from and I literally get them from the companies and for the most part they send HD wig caps so yeah y'all. For my bald cap, I'm just going to go back and forth between these two shades in the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation palette and the shade RD15 and put that into my cap. So I'm just basically pressing it into my cap and also getting it onto my skin for a super seamless look. And yeah, I'm just going to press it in and get it not necessarily all over, but on it enough where i know that the lace could possibly show and since i wasn't sure if i wanted a middle part or a side part i'm going to put makeup in both parts but this is the inside of the wig y'all y'all can see how thin the knots are how bleached they are in the plucking okay i went ahead and put these straps together in the back so that the wig can fit perfectly on my little itty bitty head so i'm gonna go ahead and put this wig on my head now and this is what it's looking like i'm in between i'm like do i want a side part like but i'm telling my friend on the phone i'm like it's giving summer vibes like it's giving summer and it's not summer it's winter so we're gonna go ahead and do a side part today with this bob so i'm gonna go ahead and trace out in front of my ear and cut around and above it with my little scissors here so that it can fit properly you know like the wig and the lace because yeah we don't need that sitting in front of our ear like that's going to feel really really weird and to make sure that it looks good i'm just going to tuck that hair behind my ear <laughs> so i can see like okay like this is a good fit and it's not too long or too short so now i'm gonna pull this wig back and we're gonna go ahead and clean off our skin with some for alcohol because yeah this spray or glue would not stick if your skin had any extra makeup from that cap or oils on your skin so yeah that is a necessary step to clean it with whatever you have whether it be witch hazel except for alcohol, sea breeze, whatever. Just make sure your skin is clean, okay? But I'm taking my lace spray now and I'm just gonna spray that around my cap. And I'm being really delicate with this because I don't want it to move too much. And since this was a smaller can, it was really, really easy, actually. It was way easier to spray it onto my hair without it moving a whole lot. So yeah, y'all, shout out to the mini cans. <laughs> um, I'm doing three layers of this and the thing is you have to blow dry it until it is tacky you don't want it to be completely dry because then it's not going to stick you want it to be stacky stacky really <laughs> you want it to be tacky so that's all i'm doing once it's tacky i go in with my next layer and i'm just doing it in sections to make sure that i get it in the right placement and that it's not drying all at the same speed because yeah i'm going in with three 
layers. Still with this spray though, I'm making sure to get it behind my ear how I usually would with glue so that it can, you know, just lay properly behind my ear and in front of my ear if that makes sense but since once it's down. But yeah, y'all, I'm just going back and forth with all my layers and now we're gonna pull down the lace and put it right where this spray is. And I'm just gonna stretch out this lace and then put it at the end where it should meet and where it should be at. And I find that now that I like stretch out the lace now to place my wigs where it needs to be, it has a way smoother just melt in general and just layout, like with the hairline, if that makes sense. To seal everything in, I'm just gonna take my hands and press in that product into the lace. And around the ends, it don't really be sticking that well. So I'm just going ahead and lift it up and add some more spray and blow dry it until it's tacky. Then go ahead and put that down because, yeah, I don't have time for that. Because if I put on my band, it's just going to be pointless if the two ends are not sticking properly. So, yeah, I'm just going to go in with just a little bit where the ends are and blow dry that on the other side the same way I did the other one. And so now I'm going to take my band and we're going to place that right on top of this lace, on top of this hairline, and stretching out the lace as well to make sure it's a good fit and that nothing is going to ripple in the front or just be looking too big and wonky. And here we're going to let her sit for 15 minutes. <laughs> And this part was basically in the middle part already, so I was just tweaking it a little bit to make sure it was really in the middle of my head. But yeah, that was really, really slight. Like I didn't have to make a middle part. It, it came in a middle part. For this wig, I wasn't going for an extremely flat vibe, so I'm not gonna go in with every section and parting it out with oil and hot combing it, but just like three to two to make sure that it looks semi-flat and not just sitting on top of my head because we still want this to look, you know, melted and done. We don't want it to look like we just threw the wig on. We want to put in a little bit of effort where it looks like we put in a lot. So yeah, I'm just taking my Bio, bio Silk, OMG, <laughs> my Bio Silk and my hot comb and just smoothing out these hairs a tad bit. And yeah, I'm just gonna take, I think I did two sections, but yeah, this is my second one doing the same thing, bio silk, hot comb. And I know from what it looks like, it looks like I'm doing this for only like five to 10 seconds, but I was going in with this hot comb for a good 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that everything was getting nicely pressed out and flat. So once that's all done, I'm gonna take my hot comb and just smooth everything together so that those parts that I made aren't just poking out and you know being noticeable. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side off camera and once that's done, the 15 minutes is basically up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this lace. I take two sections first with my scissors before I go in with my razor. And I was like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> like this is broken, like there's literally no razor. I was like, what is going on? So I just picked up my bigger one that I usually use and I'm just gonna go ahead and shape off this lace how I normally would. Just going down, downwards in like a jacket motion. And like I say, this is a razor, so it's gonna automatically give a jacket look because of how the razor is set up. But I'm just getting as close to the hairline as possible and just following how the hairline is naturally set up and cutting according to that. It was a little too much lace on the end, so I'm taking my scissors to get a more precise cut because the razor wasn't going to allow me to cut off the extra lace there. But yeah, once that's all done, the hairline is looking really clean. I'm gonna clean off my skin again with the super alcohol because of the spray. Like it gives it kind of like an ashy look and wiping that with that kind of just gets that going. So now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush here and that same Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. I'm just gonna tap that and smooth that around the lace and on my skin just a little bit so it can you know blend and stuff but yeah now it's giving scalp for real i'm like okay period <laughs> so i went in with some more just because i'm like you know what i really want this to give like skin for real so i went in with a little bit of extra makeup because inside of the lace i put makeup but i didn't put a lot because the knots were super super thin and this hairline just looked really really good so i didn't go in with heavy makeup inside of the cap and tbh my installs look better when i like 
refrain from am I saying that right <laughs> when I don't put makeup inside of the cap like too much I just put that Evan Wonder lace spray around my hairline like on the lace as well as on my skin and that's just going to help melt it times 10 you feel me so we're gonna let that band sit on here for 15 minutes and in the meantime i'm just going to take my hot comb and get this hair flatter in the front because i didn't go in with a lot of sections around the actual hair so yeah i'm just doing my best to get it as flat as i'd like it and i'm doing a little bit of bumping in the front too just to make the middle part give more i don't know give more pizzazz you know <laughs> so yeah i'm just hot combing passing time by honestly but at least it's going to ensure that the wig is like giving for real but all i'm doing here is just passing time by okay but look how flat it is i'm like okay here it is we're gonna take out this band and look like i don't even have to say anything like do you see how melted that is like are you crazy so now i'm just gonna pull out my baby hairs and i was going for like a dramatic look y'all know me but fluffy so i'm just taking the edge brush that i have here on the comb side and i'm pulling out these hairs and i'm doing my best to like get it super like cohesive on both sides so i just ditched that section that i did first and i'm doing it again so it can match up with the left side and yeah y'all i'm just basically combing out these hairs here doing the same thing on the other side honestly i'm gonna start pulling out my baby hairs on the left side first because they always look so different from the right side in a good way so yeah <laughs> i'm just hot comb these hairs a little bit so they can lay down flat and just look really sleek once it's all set and done I literally lost my big scissors that I usually use to cut off my baby hairs. So I'm having to use my small ones and it's a little bit harder to do because I'm trying to get like a straight down jagged cut and yeah, but I mean, it worked out. The um, sideburns were a little bit smaller than I usually go for, but honestly, I need to make them short on a, on a regular because it honestly looked really, really good and super natural and just, it gave, I don't know, but I was like, hmm, I don't know what this is gonna look like. I hope it still looks cute because on camera and just in my face, they were looking really, really short. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump my edges so that they can lay down properly and just look really really good and just like edges for real and not just like something sticking on my forehead <laughs> so i'm bumping it under you feel me and i'm taking two sections because that's just going to make it look really really good i don't know it just gives it extra umph and it gives it more of a fluffy effect when you go in with two sections but i'm just going over what i did to make sure that it's really really bumped because i'm telling you Bumping your edges, it just, I don't know, like, it just makes them look so freaking good. Like, it literally elevates your edges. So, I'm taking my Got To Be Glued spray today, and I'm just going to spray that on top of this hair and get to swooping my edges. The main things I'm doing to make sure that the edges look how I love for them to look is making sure I'm using my fingers and... One, making sure I'm using my fingers, too, that I'm actually swooping the hair into the hairline so everything can look cohesive and put together. Three, making sure that I'm swooping towards my forehead. You see how I'm doing here? Like, I'm swooping towards my forehead so they're not just like, I don't know, I hate when they're not. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it gives it a different vibe for sure. And four, I'm making sure to basically get everything into clumps starting at the root of the hair basically getting into clumps i don't know why i said just said it twice but i'm really trying to get y'all to understand what i'm doing because when i get it into clumps it just makes everything looks look put together you know so yeah i just really be playing with them to give it that fluffy look and once it's melted how i'd like it to look i'm going to take my blow dryer and set into place since i am using spray if i was using a gel i probably wouldn't take a blow dryer but since i'm using spray that's what i'm going to do also another tip when it comes to baby hairs is use really light product like you want to do less is more type of mentality when it comes to them because if you use a lot of product at once when doing your baby hairs you're not going to have enough 
room for error because they're going to be basically stuck down like you see how i'm picking my got to be glue spray back up after i already sprayed it once that's because i'm not using a lot to begin with i'm just using a little bit to form the shape of what i want at first to just see how i like it and once it's getting to a point where i'm like okay like yeah this is eating like that's when i go in with more product because if i like i said if i went in with too much product you see what i just did here like i was able to comb out these hairs and cut them shorter so yeah y'all use a light amount of product going into it at first because you don't want to be stuck with your baby hairs that you make at first because yeah like you want to take your time with it and get them how you really want them to look without them being molded down too quick To make this hairline look a little bit cleaner and to keep this hair from falling all up in my face, I'm going to take my wax stick and then hot comb all of these hairs back like so. Look how pretty these edges look like. Yeah, they're dramatic, but they just look so pretty. Like, I love a good fluffy edge. Like, let me know, like, do y'all like big edges or do y'all, you know, go for the more natural vibe? You know, like the real super thin, super short real natural to your hairline vibe because I like them big and fluffy especially with some curly hair but now I'm going to take my razor and just frame it a bit to my face just a little bit and look how pretty these curls are like when I tell y'all this is fresh out of the pack I don't even want to man manipulate these curls too much so I'm just going to take a little bit of this lot of body curling foam and put that on the ends of this hair because that's where it was the most frizzy and then put it throughout the hair a little bit more just a little bit you feel me just to make everything look more put together because it was pretty frizzy but the curls were very very gorgeous like do y'all see like yeah i really did not want to put a lot of product on this hair so i didn't i did not okay I'm pretty much just taking the product and scrunching it into the hair and I'm only applying it in the parts that were frizzy especially in the front because in the back of the hair where it wasn't touched or combed out or anything like that was very very curly and just put together so I didn't have to do too much all around the hair with the product so I'm just going to twirl and curl it in the front a little bit just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. <laughs> y'all, that's like my favorite word, but really, I don't really know how else to explain it. But y'all see like in the back, it was really, really curly. Like it just looked so cute. So this is how we're looking. OMG, like she's eating. Look at the back. Like it's so full. Like ugh, I was in love with this hair like especially for the summertime like ooh, so freaking cute so before i end this tutorial i'm going to clean up my part a little bit with this concealer and that is the end you guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this very very easy wig and wig tutorial all the information on this hair and the products that i use will be in the description box i will see you guys in my next video bye